Okay, let's open the Cintiq Pro Master Carton and use the cardboard handles to pull out product specs. This is the Cintiq Pro 27 carton box and let's have a look what's inside. So, what you see here first is um, the Cintiq Pro 27 main display, nicely packed in these black cloths. Let's remove it here and put it aside for the moment. Then you will see um, the main accessory box down here with um, a couple of quick start guide notes. And if you open that box here, you will see all the cables inside. You will see the video cables, the USB-C cables, the USB cable, some power plugs, plus the pen tray. And within the pen tray, you will find all the accessory nips and accessories for the Pro Pen 3, which is packed in here. And you will also find uh, your printed copy of the Cintiq Pro Quick Start Guide. But there's more. Let's close this for the moment. And there's another box at the rear end. Don't miss that one. And here you can pull it out on the cutout. And if you look at this one, you will find the power supply uh, with some additional power plugs in here. Now let's have a closer look what's inside the Cintiq Pro 27 box. First of all, the Cintiq Pro 27 main display. Please note that you should not put the Cintiq Pro 27 flat on the table. You can only use it either with the Cintiq Pro 27 stand or with a Visa 100 compatible mount or monitor arm. Besides the Cintiq Pro 27 display, you will find the Cintiq Pro Quick Start Guide in the box and a couple of cables. First of all, for connectivity, the USB-C cable, which you can either use for data and video or both. For those PC who don't have a USB-C uh, port, you can use the USB-C to USB-A for the data connectivity. And regarding the video signal, you will find in the box a mini display port to display port cable. And last but not least, uh, HDMI cable for the video signal. Next, you will find also the Cintiq Pro Pen Tray in the box, plus the brand new Pro Pen 3. Last but not least, you will also find power supply, plus the appropriate power cable for your respective region. Now let's connect the already mounted Cintiq Pro 27 to a PC by using the single USB-C cable connectivity. Please make sure that your PC or Mac USB-C port does support the ALT display port functionality to carry over data and video signals. To start this, I will open the flap on the left side, looking from the back, by lifting it up. And behind the flap you will see the USB-C connector on the left, USB-A connector in the middle, and on the right the power connector. Let's start by attaching the power connector first and make sure that it goes firmly into the socket. Then take the USB-C cable and do similar. When properly attached, please put the back cover on and slide it down that it snaps in successfully. Now I connect the other end with the USB-C plug to the USB-C port on my PC and use the power button on the back side of the Cintiq Pro 27 to switch it on. Let's download the latest Wacom driver. To do this, just go on www.wacom.com and in the upper menu bar, please click on support. And here there's a blue button calling drivers and download. Click there and then just scroll down a little bit where you can see um, the driver section here and here click on the Windows driver, click on the blue download button again. Then one final click on confirm download and the driver will download in a couple of seconds. After we have successfully downloaded the latest Wacom driver, let's proceed with the installation. To do this, open the Windows File Explorer click on Downloads and have a double click on the Wacom tablet installer file. Okay, 
say yes because I have admin rights and now after a couple of seconds the driver will prompt with the license agreement which we happily accept by clicking on the blue button. And then the driver is installing in the background. It might take a couple of seconds um, or even about a minute depending on the required assets which are downloaded in the background. Okay, after the driver installation was successful, to finalize the driver install, just click on the Restart Now button and your PC will restart. And then the Wacom Cintiq Pro 27 is ready to work. Now we have restarted our PC with the Cintiq Pro 27 connected and the setup wizard will come up with this nice welcome screen here. And the setup wizard will guide us in a few steps showing the key features or the, the key new features you will get on your Cintiq Pro 27 and at the end will guide us into the registration process. So let's start by clicking on the start button. First of all it gives as uh, impression of the express keys, where the express keys are located and uh, how to use them in an efficient way and what you can do with those express keys. Next one is um, showing a bit how to enable and or disable the multi-touch feature with the small switch on the back side. And last but not least, it reminds us to get our device registered on the Wacom pages and to get free access to the bundle software you will get with the Cintiq Pro 27 and also to get informed about future offers from Wacom. And now we are going to the registration process. Okay, now the Wacom sign-in page appears in the Wacom Center and you can either sign up for a new account on the Wacom page or in my case I will now log in with my existing one. Okay, what it does first, it automatically has registered the Wacom Cintiq Pro 27 with, with its serial number and I can now either go to device setting or I can go directly to the software settings. 